even when you try some I'm the reason you got reasons to be greater Never play me, you know even when we done we got relations I'm ready for the love Hey everyone, I'm Breezy and I decided to make this video because a lot of people were asking me different questions um, about my tumor, like um, symptoms, how did I, how did this all start? And a lot of people have been with me since day one. So a lot of people were watching in my vlogs of me going through these different things and we just didn't think it was going to result to, oh, there's a tumor. So I always try to like keep everyone up to date. And so a lot of people were just asking me questions because they heard me mention like, oh yeah, you know that one vlog I did when I was telling you guys about this and that, like, you know, that was one of the symptoms and I just didn't know. So I decided to tell my story of having a pituitary tumor of like how everything happened and how I found out and my symptoms. Back in October 2019, so last year, um, I noticed I had a really, really bad migraine one morning. I woke up and my head was pounding out of the ordinary and I went to work and as soon as I got into work, I ran to the restroom and I was throwing up and I couldn't keep my head up. It was just really, really bad. I was nauseous and luckily, luckily it was just me at work at the time. So I had to call my coworker to come in early to cover me and then I had to take the next day off because I woke up still not feeling good. I had little headaches before, but I would just take a Tylenol and I'll be good to go. But I knew it was something different about these headaches I was having. So then the headache had stopped. And then a week after that, I had a headache every day. And for like a week, it happened for a week and then it stopped. And then a week after that, I noticed my vision was very bad. And it was like bad to the point where I had almost hit somebody two times. It was like my blind spots were bad. Obvious spots were blind spots for me. So like I would be at a stop sign and someone would be across the street standing at the corner and I wouldn't even see them. It was that bad. I got scared. And so I went to get my eyes checked. And when I went to get my eyes checked, she was asking me, and so I told her about the headache I had, my vision got bad. And she was just like, why did you wait so long? And I'm like, it was only two, three weeks ago. That's too long. And, and that was my first time getting my eyes examined. And so she was running her test and she was more worried about me getting um, blood work done than finding out what lens is good for my eyes. She kept saying, this is something that's like a health issue. She said, I don't think it's diabetes because I would be able to tell, but it's something else going on and we really need you to go to your primary doctor. And so I scheduled an appointment to my primary doctor and when I went to their doctor's appointment, they had me do their own um, eye chart test. And when I went in the room, the doctor came in and she said, um, did you drive yourself here? And I said, yes. And she said, someone's going to have to come get you because you shouldn't be driving at all. Your eyes is bad. And she had me sign a form stating that I cannot drive. And I'm like, wow, really? And so after that, she referred me to a medical eye exam doctor. So when I went there, he said the same thing as the first eye exam doctor I went to. The eye itself is perfect. There's no nerve damage. But he said he's afraid it might be something that has to do with the brain like there's a blockage and he suggested an MRI so I called the doctor office and I scheduled an appointment with them and I told them the medical eye exam doctor suggested that I get an MRI so she put in a request for me to get a referral and I think the referral took about a week or two before I actually had it went got the MRI done and when I got the MRI done I honestly felt like the results were going to come back that is just stress. It's my mind playing tricks on me. I'm perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. So when I went to the doctor's office, this was like two weeks after I did the MRI. I went to the doctor's office and he asked me if I was there with anyone. I told him my dad was in a parking lot. So he looked at the other doctor and he said, can we go out there and get dad? Because I want everyone in this room so that everyone is on the same page. And he said, because there's something wrong. 
So when he said that, I just started crying like crazy because I wasn't expecting that at all. It it caught me off guard. I was expecting him to say, oh, you know, you're perfectly fine. You're probably just a little stressed, dehydrated or something, you know. But he waited till my dad came in. And that's when he told me that there's a tumor and I will have to have surgery to remove it. On the 17th of this month, I go to the endocrinologist, which they monitor the hormones. So that's why I'm going to them because of the hormones, because the tumor is in the pituitary area, which is connected to my hormones. I go to the neurologist on the 24th and then I guess they do their own test or I have the MRI CD. So I have to take that to them and then I guess they go from there. I've watched the videos and the videos that I've watched, I've seen them remove the tumor through the nostrils. So I'm hoping and praying that's the case for me. Like they're going to go through my nose because I don't want them to have to cut my hair. I mean, you know, I know hair is not everything. Hair will grow back, but I just don't, it's not even really the hair. It's them cutting my head that I'm scared of. But, um... So I'm hoping that they can go through my nose. And then I'm also hoping that when they do remove it, like part of me is very scared for them to even touch it because I'm afraid it might cause more problems for me, you know? Then I was also reading like how my vision is bad. Just because they remove it doesn't mean that my vision is going to go back 100% normal. This is a journey. I've been recording. I've been taking you guys along with me. I wanted to do this just to get you guys like updated from the beginning to where we are right now. It's weird. I've never in, in my life would have thought I would be going through this or even talking about this to you guys. But I just hope that this does motivate others to get themselves checked out, to pay attention to their body. And um uh, and just and just put your faith in God. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.